Hey guys, how you doing? Figured today I'd just give you a quick how-to on uh, replacing the rear shocks on my 97 Riv. I noticed uh, one on the driver's side is uh, leaking oil out of the bottom of it, and uh, also the air ride does not work in this thing. The compressor comes on and just stays on until it times out. So, went and picked up a set of new shocks. Cost a whole $69 at advance which I thought was pretty good. These are Monroe's and they got the uh, Air Ride Oops. <laughs> which is a direct fit for the GM fitting so just pop it in there and go. Uh, not bad, 69 bucks for a pair of these things and come with hardware. This one comes with two washers and a nut. So get this thing lifted up and then start pulling the old ones out. So we'll start by taking off the wheels and I'll do that with my uh, Craftsman Impact Gun which is probably the most useful power tool I've ever purchased. Simple enough. So here we are under the car now with the wheel off. And as you can see, this thing is leaking quite a bit. And it's also pretty rusty. So let's get started removing it. First thing I'm going to do is pull the airline off, which just undo this clip here and pull straight off. Because once you start unbolting the top, this is probably going to want to twist, and you don't want to damage that airline. Okay. And then you go up in the trunk, and after you removed your liner, which mine is conveniently still removed because this thing leaks so much, I'm going to pop this cap off. Alright, now that we have some light, what you want to do is... Pull this rubber cap off, and that bolt in the middle there is the one you want to remove. Mine's a 15 millimeter. That's it for up here. Now the new one came with hardware that will replace all that. So now this is loose here. And the next thing you do is take out these two bolts down here on the bottom of the control arm. Those are 10 millimeter. Alright, and So it goes down there. And you get it out of there. And pulls out, and that's it. Gone. And what does that take? All five minutes for a move? Simple. Now what you got to do is off the old one you got to take these clips out and transfer them over to this one. This one does not come with them. Alright, so we got our new hardware here. We take this one, the flatter of the two washers, and it slides right on top like that. And put it in. Put 
And we just pull this down. All right, so that seems about as far as you could pull that out by hand. So what I did was I just loosely put the nut on on the inside of the trunk and my other car jack lifted up the control arm to the bolt holes so I could tighten that on there. And of course, it is really starting to rain now. All right, so now that you got the bolts uh, lined up and threaded, you gotta torque them down. The lower control arm bolts are 18 foot pounds. So that's set to now. And the upper one is 15 foot pounds. See, I got the new washer and nut on there. All I gotta do is torque it down. Fifteen foot pounds up here. That's it. So now we got it all torqued up. Let's get rid of this jack. It did, the shock did stretch out a little bit more. I couldn't do it by hand. It was just way too hard to pull, to pull that out. And the one thing you want to do is do not hook the airline back up until after you're done with the car on the ground on both sides. Well, I just got the wheel off on this side and take a look at this shock. This is the worst one yet. Look at this. all rusted out you can see right up in there and uh, there's this bag this part is supposed to be attached here which it's not anymore so this one's by far the worst and this one's leaking as well but it's got more severe problems besides leaking so I'll swap this one out and for the finishing touch now that's all lowered down Hook these back up. Slide on. And the ring retaining clip. And that's all there is to it. You have her both sides and take it for a ride and see how it feels. That's it. All in all, the whole job took under an hour to do for both sides. Not too bad. Beats paying a shop to do it. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.